Good morning, my beautiful, special, wonderful, amazing friends. How are you? I hope you're well. It's Saturday morning. It's about 8.30 a.m. Listen, y'all. Last night, I was short-staffed about half of what I have normally on a Friday night. And let me tell you what. It was handed to us. I don't know if everybody missed us from being on vacation, but Lord, I must say we were so busy. I was worn out and I had to take a couple of Tylenols when I got home. I walked over six miles in my kitchen last night during the day. So, listen, it was rough. So, anyway, there you go. There you have it. We're back in action, back at the pizza shop, busy as always. So, this morning I thought, I've got some leftovers. So let's create a, uh, a stable that was in my house. This is going to be southern cornbread and chicken dressing so cornbread chicken dressing now at my house y'all when i was growing up dressing wasn't just for thanksgiving this was all year long we ate this because we all was bread eaters it's really super simple so all you're gonna do now the other day we had that wonderful maryland crab oh i hope you saw those crab cakes they were delicious so we had greens and cornbread as a combination here that we like together. So I had made super quick when I got home a couple boxes of Jiffy cornbread mix. Now you could um, totally make your own cornbread. That's fine. I like Jiffy in the pantry on days that I need to do it really quick. So this was two boxes and we have half left. So if you're gonna make this at home, make up one box, okay? So all we're gonna do is we're just going to, sorry, I got a text. We're just gonna break this up, your cornbread. Get it broken up here. As my friend on YouTube said, one of my uh, friends, she said there's a time and a place for everything. So I was talking about this little refrigerated biscuits and she is correct. There is a time and place for everything. And this is a place for Jiffy cornbread. Now, like I said, you can make your own, whatever. I'm using up what I have. So we're gonna put this right into the bowl. The leftover cornbread here. I wanna get it all out. Now listen y'all, I'm not afraid or ashamed to tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this dressing, I'm gonna put it right back in this pan. I'm not gonna dirty it up. I'm not even gonna wash it, because why would I? It just had cornbread in it. It's not a big deal. It was clean, it was covered. I'm not gonna dirty up any more dishes. This is how you do it here. We're just gonna chunk this up. So there's our cornbread, we're gonna leave it right there. We'll push it off to the side. Now, my canning friends, so you need chicken, of course. So, my canning friends, this I canned uh, chicken thighs the other day. Three thighs, look how, I want you to see how tender that is. Look at that, that is literally falling off the bone. This um, quart jar held three chicken thighs, and this is exactly the kind of recipe that I can these thighs for. Oh, wee! These are amazing. Look at them. Just sliding right out. I had already drained the um, broth off here. Now this one, it didn't have this much broth on it. I added a little bit of my own chicken stock. You want about two, two and a half cups of broth. We're gonna see. Look at that. That, oh, you need chicken. So whatever chicken you want to use, you can use canned chicken, you can use rotisserie chicken. But all my canning friends, if you want to can chicken thighs, I'm going to save that broth. I'm not wasting any of that delicious broth. So to my canning friends, listen, if you've never canned, this was um, raw pack thighs. I am definitely going to do this again because thighs are super um, cheap. Sometimes they have them on a great sale and they have the most, to me, they have the most flavor, perfect for casseroles, noodles, dumplings, all of that. Okay, so I'm gonna pick this chicken off camera because I know nobody won't see that messiness, and I will come right back when I get all this um, separated here, and I'll be right back. Let me click my clicker. 
So the chicken is done. It was effortless. I could have done it on camera, but it just fell off the bone. This is literally all I have left. I personally would have put that little bit of chicken skin in there, but I know my daughter, she would not like that. So I took it out. This is the gorgeousness that we have left. And I'm gonna tell you my canning friends, I think I'm only going to can chicken thighs. I did some chicken legs also. I think I like this compared to a chicken breast just because it is juicier and it is fantastic because I took a little bite of it. It was so good. I think this is what I'm gonna do from now on. Plus, chicken thighs are usually um, less expensive than chicken breasts. So anyway, I'm, I'm getting sidetracked here. So we've got our cornbread mixed up here. Off camera, I scraped, a more, got all that cornbread out of the pan. I hit it with a little bit of nonstick spray. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna mix everything together. Now, I will have to tell you, I was very sad I didn't have any celery and I forgot to get some. Because So if you're making this at home, you'll want some celery. Um, unless you don't like celery. So what I did instead was I sauteed some onions, about a half a cup of onions and some butter, and I would have put this celery in there if I had any, but I didn't, so I added some celery, celery seed, cats are fighting, celery salt, and celery flakes. So that's gonna take place of my celery. Hey, Marvin, Marvin's mean sometimes to his sister. Okay, so I'm just gonna add these onions right in with the cornbread. And of course, celery, if I had celery. Okay, leave this back here. Listen, y'all, it's cool here in Southern Ohio again. I am I am bundled up, got my house slippers on. It's kind of cool. So I'm gonna add some rosemary. I'm gonna add some thyme. If you got the thyme, I got the dressing. Okay. Now, I'm not gonna add any salt at this point because the, the uh, chicken, of course, was salted when I canned it. So I'm gonna wait, and I'm gonna go ahead and mix in my chicken. I maybe should have gotten a bigger bowl, but we're gonna take our time here and see what happens. Jake's wanting in, he's knocking on the door. Okay, so we're gonna take this. Let me get this, maybe stir it a little bit into the cornbread. This goes super quick, 350 your oven. So if you wanna make cornbread at home and you wanna make jiffy, just make an eight by eight pan. That's what you need for the cornbread or whatever cornbread you wanna make. You're just gonna make a small batch because this is a small batch of chicken and dressing. And of course, if you have a larger family and you want to double it, by all means, go ahead. I'm gonna start in with the broth. Now, this is gonna be kind of soupy. Don't let that worry you. Oh, Jake is very upset this morning. He wants in. Okay. I had about two cups of chicken broth in there. Now, I'm, I'm kind of gently mixing it in because I don't want to completely annihilate that cornbread. I want it chunky. Me. I'm gonna give it a taste. I got my coffee spoon here. I stir my coffee with. I'm gonna give it a taste to see if I need any salt or anything like that. Mm. 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 Oh my goodness, that's good. Just like, ooh. That's good just like that, folks. I wanna get some pepper. Baby. Well, my goodness, I can't even get it open. Here we go. Okay. I'm out of my peppercorns that I use for my grinder and I've gotta get some, so I just got this old school box of pepper. And evidently, I'm not smart enough to get it open. Okay, so we go, I'm gonna add, got, still got a little bit of dry cornbread on the bottom, so we're gonna add some more of this stock. That's what I like to do, I just like to add it slowly in. 
it's easier to add it in than take it away. So now we're starting to get to that consistency that looks good. Yeah. Oh, sorry, getting a, getting a text here. Let me just quickly check that. Okay, sorry. Mason's not home, so whenever I get a text when my kids are at home, I always like to check it. That's just the mama in me. Okay, go. We're getting there, I'm gonna add the last of the broth, and of course, I always forget something. I forgot my egg, so let me grab my egg. Wouldn't be Krista without forgetting something, would it? Oh. Oh, sorry folks, I had a crash and burn a Tupperware container fell out of the, out of the fridge. Heavens, must say. Okay, so here we go. Last of that chicken broth. One egg. One beaten egg. Okay, let's get that in there. It mixed up really quickly here. Always forgetting something. There we go. I need to add just a pinch of salt at this point. A pinch of salt. All right, final stages here to mix this all up. I really wish you could smell this. I am so pleased. Okay, so this is my first year canning, as, as most of you know. I bought that electric uh, canner because I was stay out of them old fashioned ones. And um, so this is my first time taking out the thighs that um, we can, I can. I say we, me. There was not an assistant. Sometimes Brock helps me, but he didn't with the thighs. He was gone that day and I am going to do it again. I'm very pleased with those, so there you go. All right, it's mixed. Here's how you want it to look. You want it to look soupy. Now don't worry about it because that is gonna bake out. So I'm gonna put that right in my mix, my pan here that I already have to bake the cornbread. Here comes the dogs. Must smell good. Look at that big pan of beauty. And honestly, I may have to put that in a bigger pan, but we'll see what happens. It's pretty thick. So it's gonna go in the oven. It's gonna take a while. So it's gonna go into like 40, 45 minutes. And I'm going to cover mine to begin with. And I'm gonna give it about 40 minutes and then I'm gonna cover it, check it, and then I will finish it off uncovered. But there you go, old fashioned chicken cornbread dressing. I'll be back to show you the finished product, friends. Here it is, friends. It's out of the oven, our southern cornbread and chicken dressing. We, it's not just for Thanksgiving. It's also for a Saturday morning to have for lunch. Now listen, this is the main dish. I know typically on a holiday it's a side dish, but we've got we've got our meat and we've got our, our carbohydrate in here. You could totally add some mixed vegetables, some green beans, some corn, make it a meal in one. Why not? Why not? I'm gonna have a vegetable on the side with this. So it was about 40, 45 minutes in the oven. Everybody's oven's different. If you do use a different size pan, you just want it to be cooked through and golden brown. Let's give it a taste. Now I know it's t it's 10 o'clock in the morning, so, but I gotta give it a taste. Here it is, see how it's cooked through? Oh, friends, look at that. Lunch is ready. Get out of here, that's delicious. So simple, so easy. This is my childhood. Listen, also, if you wanted to, make up a little bit of chicken gravy. 
pour that over them. Maybe I'll do that for Madison. She loves her gravies. Do a little bit of chicken gravy. Just do a packet or a can or make it from scratch. It's not that hard. Pour it right over. Friends. Mmm. Mmm. You got that delicious fattiness from those chicken thighs. You got that delicious sweet cornbread from the Jiffy. You've got those seasonings. Amazing. Delicious. Easy. Perfect for a, a cool evening dinner. Listen, you can make this ahead of time. Make it up in the morning and bake it later. So simple. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you're new here, like and subscribe. Hang out with us. We have a lot of fun. Really, we do. Bye, friends.